Hey, good evening to you. 2020, we know it was rough on everyone, and we mean everyone. People were sick, we were all stuck inside, and businesses across the board suffered. So the idea of starting a new business venture, maybe not on the top of people's minds, right? Though one Odessa woman, she is the exception here. She turned an idea into a business even in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. Jonathan Palasik met Nancy Davis today. Jonathan, how'd she pull it off? Good evening, Tatum. Nancy Davis saw a need, worked to create a business plan, and the Odessa Business Challenge uh, went a long way towards setting her plan in motion. Starting a business in 2020, tough. It's just delay after delay after delay. But Nancy Davis is tougher. It was really hard. Um, starting with the stations, that's when this whole thing with China came up. So my whole stations would not come. I had to go with a whole new route. So these are not the original stations I had planned. She wanted to start a cosmetology school and never lost focus of that goal. There really hasn't been a privately owned beauty school in Odessa for a long time. I really don't know how long, but it's been a long time. The next privately owned school is in Lubbock. And I always thought that we need to give people a choice. She took her idea to the Odessa Business Challenge. So we started right when COVID hit. And uh, we had to change to online. And we built our business plan and found our location. And uh, in June 2020, I got word that I was under the final eight. I got to pitch my idea to the judges. And they was also blown away by my idea, maybe by me, I don't know. <laughs> but um, they decided that it was a good thing to have in Odessa. Walking out that good idea proved challenging. My contractors caught COVID, so the build out took very long. It's just one thing after another. Then from the city inspections, it's it was delays, delays, delays. That's why the whole thing took one and a half years. A little grit and a whole lot of perseverance. The Amenti Academy is set to open to the public next month. Davis says that she gives all of the credit to the city of Odessa and the Odessa Business Challenge. They provided her with the seed money to fill a need within the city. Reporting live in Odessa, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.